What's around everyone? Welcome to Exco Tarot. This is going to be your Sagittarius season. Okay, we're going to pull out some oracle cards for Sagittarius season, okay? Going to pull out some unicorn cards because we're going to have to go there. It's Sagittarius season. So these are... Um, cards that are going to reveal where to draw your wisdom from, okay? Sagittarius, happy Sagittarius season, happy flight day, mm, mm, mm. okay? Happy um, solar return, happy born day, all that wonderful good stuff, all that to you. Um, Sagittarius on my opposite sign, shout out, I'm actually reading this tarot card reading when it's exactly opposite from me. Okay, like right on point. Because you know I want to get the tea. And I want to be on point with the tea. So what better way is just to tap in, okay? And tap in my way, okay? So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So this reading is an oracle card reading. It is sad season. And... The Oracle reading is to give wisdom, okay? Sagittarius season is all about wisdom. It's all about expanding. It's all about that knowledge. It's all about that knowing and that um, risk-taking to know and to overstand it and understand it and diagonal stand it and all the way around stand it, you know? And, you know, it has the flair to accomplish it and to get it done. It loves the challenges of, of figuring out and to, to, to get the truth of it all. You know, it's a um, ninth houser, so born out the ninth house, who basically just um, means, you know, a lot of people see the ninth house as the house of wisdom, as the house of knowledge and truth. And um, the commonalities of it all that triggers down to its baby, which is Sagittarius, ninth house. And um, cuspy babies too. So if you are cusp, if you're on the border of like a Scorpio Sag or a Sag Cap, you know what I'm saying? You should be reading, um, listening to this too. So let's say if you have, you know, something um, in three degrees, I mean, not three degrees, but like 28 degrees of Scorpio or something that's in one degree of Capricorn. You have to listen to um, not only Sag, but Scorpio. Uh, if, if, sorry, you have to listen to Skaz. I know you're going to be listening to Scorpio or you're going to be listening to Capricorn, but you also got to include um, Sag. So that's why this is like, I usually talk about, you know, doing quickies. You know, if you look at my stuff, I talk about quickies and stuff like that. Because literally, there's so many placements and alignments and so much stuff going on within you, your own universe you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's walking around with their own universe, pretty much. So it's so much that's going on within yourself that you can literally spend an eight-hour day, like the same amount of time that you spend at work, right? Um, at a regular nine to five or, you know, 11 to six or 12, whatever. I forgot, 12 to eight. And, you know, I used to have all those things down pat. You know, all the time changes and all that when you get off work and stuff, but... I haven't been in that world in a minute, so I kind of forgot the way it go. The eight to four, I forgot the eight to fours. Yeah, so, because I guess I was hardcore corporate at one time. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so definitely it could take eight hours if you really would go through each and every aspect of your alignment. You could be listening to tarot cards all day, zodiac sign stuff all living day i mean you can even get off work into extra hours with just tarot card knowledge of based on your signs your energy like just to put the whole picture together so i'm here to just give it you know quick and to the point and easy and sagittarius is such a pivotal season here because it's really that point where it's the last fire sign of the of the year as we live it down here, you know, in this world. And, you know, it, it comes with all this. And plus, it is the original North Node 
of this existence that we know of, okay? We know of, okay? We can't be talking about people of the past. They also, they was on some more other stuff, okay? I'm talking about right now, okay? <laughs> talking about really, really, but what about, no, can we just talk about right now? So, yes, it is the original Gemini, it's the South Node, and um, Sagittarius is the North Node, and that right now we are in a galactic center time, that's happening and um, this is what I was born opposite of so Oracle cards is at this point is very important um, for me in order to give you a deeper aspect uh, because Sagittarius is such a connection to it all to all possibilities that it needs to be tapped in more deeper than surface level and cards are always entertaining so i figure i talk and i give cards and i let you know so we're going to talk about um sagittarius first of course because it's their time it's their mojo they got the juice all right and we're going to bring out the truth and how you're going to find the truth is you're going to look at the wisdom of it all so this is draw wisdom from and the card is basically going to tell you more in depth of where, what focus, what is the main word or the main idea of this this um, water that you're going to be drawn from during the remaining of Sagittarius season and a little bit into Capricorn season because just because we say happy Capricorn season don't mean this Sagittarius season is over. All right, and Sagittarius is because you are my opposite signs. All right, and I'm literally clutching my emerald right now okay <laughs> i'm really clutching my emerald right now i'm gonna need you yeah i gotta go there i'm gonna need you to pay attention because whatever car comes out here it really comes from the bottom of my heart like because you affect me i affect you we opposite so we a team whether you like it or not you gotta love gemini including kanye and trump Ooh, ooh, am I going to get some hate comments? No, I'm not. I'm not, because y'all know where I'm coming from. I mean, the energy is the energy. The people is just the makeup, the outfit, the bones. The, it's like Halloween, you know, people put on them bone outfits and they zip it up. That's what it is. The energy is still there. All right, so let's get real about this. And let's find out what draw wisdom from. So what wisdom well, I don't know how I'm going to title the title this, but what wisdom well that you need to draw from and it's going to be one word that should um you should carry around with you subconsciously consciously you know past present or future blend it all together you know let's do some things here let's do some things it's sad season all right let's get started it's been eight minutes okay and just let me be clear because i am i have a lot of air okay and we are my opposite season. So just to be clear, so if we're going to draw wisdom from, there's going to be a word that's going to resonate or, or should resonate, otherwise the card wouldn't have came out, in order to seek truth, whatever whatever truth you're looking for, okay? And I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm not going to narrow it down. I'm going to leave it that open because what Gemini and the Sagittarius agree on we need space and we need to keep it open so i'm not going to pinpoint it for you i'm gonna let you do your own work and pinpoint it for yourself so whatever this card is you're going to draw wisdom from it in order to seek truth okay now we can get it on yeah. what's around sagittarius how y'all do it out there how is everybody doing all right so Here's the thing. This is the Sagittarius season reading. So this is about draw wisdom from. So you see here, you got a snail. So every aspect of this reading, whether it's verbally, something you see, whatever, this is what you want to take with you and you want to apply it in your life. I don't care if you look up snails. I don't care if you look up snail um, spirits. I don't, you just dig deep like and not like dig deep because you might say okay well those are like superficial type things but sometimes when you're doing stuff like that you know what i mean when you're googling stuff like you know what does a snail do the tarot card had a snail let me just see what snails are all about you'll be surprised key things will point out to you you'll just be like 
Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold up now. Uh-uh. Right. So, Saggies, this thing's a snail. You probably was wanting like a whole unicorn in itself. But this is a unicorn snail. The unicorn does have wings. So don't be all like, what? A snail? I know. That felt kind of offensive. I, I you know, I know. I got it. Okay, because you all about that speed. You all about that, you know, come on now. We 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 you know take risks, you know what I mean? We deal with challenges. I mean we we you know we about that life. Like let's go. Like who got time to be up there and and it's slimy like why like hold up now but let's look at the positive side of the snail Sagittarius okay number 27 and number 27 equals 9 which I said in the beginning in the introduction that 9 is a Sagittarius number because it comes out of the ninth house so you got calm Okay, so instead of looking at the snail, remember I was like, you know, you probably were like, what? I needed a cougar, a lion, I needed like a phoenix, give me an angel, give me something, but this, give me an alien for goodness sake. But a snail, really exotero, really free to be, really, is this what we doing? Yes, this is what we doing, calm. So, here's the transformation of it. You have come so far on your journey. Who is stopping you now, Saggy? Certainly not you. Certainly not me. Certainly not me. Who's the missing? Mm -hmm. Oh, Erica. Yep. Unless you take a different approach, a snail appears in your path. Moving so slowly, so calmly, never losing stride. Take a deep breath and see there's more to this snail than what might first seem or for what meets the eye, right? It is a sign for peace, serenity, and calmness. The unicorn snail, you see that, yeah, unicorn snail, it's not a snail, it's a unicorn snail, reminds you that only the peaceful heart is truly strong. So here's your meditation during your season, deep breaths. And the longer you can hold it and pull it in, and the longer it takes for you to release, now we're breathing, okay? And the deeper it goes, so if it's more in your gut and not in your chest, now you're getting somewhere. So relax your body, take a moment to swallow, release all stress, focus only on the sound of your breath. Now breathe and be still. Now breathe and be still. Be at peace, be calm. Like the snail, you will make it in your own pace. Keep on keeping on. And this is what you should say to yourself, like kind of like an affirmation that you allow a peace and calm to wash over you. You are safe. I allow a peace and calm to wash over me. I am safe. And what you're going to do on your daily activities is you're going to add this to it if you're feeling like you're hustling and bustling through your day and this is that season that sad season right everybody out shopping everybody getting the discounts and and who to buy for and who to this and who to impress and how to decorate and who what what this person like what this person won't eat and this and then we're going to travel how far we're going to travel and how much do we have so all this stuff is going down in a lot of people's households so take a moment to slow down and even if it's like you're not into the, all that celebration you might got you know uh, projects that you're working on business adventures that you're working on um maybe you're you know building up a car or building up a, up a side of your house or putting up a trampoline I don't know <laughs> I'm just saying but you know you got things that you gotta do you know so um it's like you know or you gotta you know, you know what I'm saying I can't you know there's unlimited things to do but you know take time slow down move slowly you know breathe deeply you might just you know had a child and you have another child and then another one or just had a child and had another one it doesn't matter <laughs> you know what I'm saying when they back to back and sometimes even if they you know, five year apart depends on the, the mannerism of that first child, how needy that first child is. That could be a hustle and a bustle in itself. So it don't have to be the hustle and bustle of the holiday. It could be the hustle and bustle of just your life. Okay? So breathe deeply. 
light a candle or sip a cup of herbal tea. There is no need to hurry, right? You get there no matter your speed. So Sagis from the Gemini, slow down. Slow down. Mm -mm. Slow down. That's it. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to work out. But you're going to have to carve in some time, right? And put yourself back into that shell. It's a portable house. It's a good thing a snail has. You know what I'm saying? So, anytime, anywhere you at, if you're at an airport, slow down. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, on the highway, slow down. You know, if you are in your house, slow down. If you're at work, slow down. If you're in space, slow down. You get what I'm saying. Slow down. Okay. All right. And let me know how that worked for you, the before and after effects, the before this card and then the after effects of this card. All right, y'all. So enjoy all of this Sagittarius season. Happy flight day once again. Happy star day. Happy born day. Happy solar return. Happy Sunday. And whatever your day was, it's still your season. So take all this mojo and use it to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day and night, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Ascendants, and Jupiters.